All right, so welcome back. This video is it's not necessarily impromptu, but what I've done is uh, pulled out a brand new War Dragon. Um, I have the image running on it of Dragon OS, and and so what I've what I've done is I I wiped away my progress, um, and I'm going to start fresh now, and I'm recording it. And so what am I doing? Well, my hope is uh, to get the War Dragon set up with uh, SRS RAN, which it actually comes, you know, native installed, but I want to have a more advanced, uh, like the, 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 the EPC portion, the network portion, I want to have something more advanced, and I'm going to use the Open 5GS, and there's a lot happening here, uh, and what I want to do is, uh, I'll just go ahead and use docker in this case to to help me out because i found a really good uh, or it seems good i've got, I've got it mostly working um, a docker for open 5gs and a whole slew of other components because what i really want to do is get a, a 4g network set up where i can actually uh, assign phone numbers uh, to well preferably two phones. So I only have one Pine phone right now and I've got it to the point where I've, I've had this set up and my uh, Pine phone you know attached to the network and, and why am I doing that? Well once I get the network set up and get two phones attached uh, with phone numbers I wanted to take the LTE sniffer and um, basically look at the network uh, after reading an article where the uh, per, the researcher was sending uh, SMS uh, messages um, from one phone to another with the purpose of uh, determining if that phone was in the area. And what I mean by the area, I, I guess you would say the area that the uh, cellular tower was was uh, at by taking LTE sniffer and um, focusing on that particular tower and then looking at the uh, PCAP files after the fact. I, I thought that was pretty interesting, so I want to get that set up. So, anyways, I wanted to explain up front. I know you've probably just been staring at the uh, screen here in the Docker screen, so I'll just go right into it. This is a brand new uh, setup here, so I'm just on the Docker.com site and trying to remember uh, what did I do to get this up and running. So, I'm pretty certain I used the Docker's app repository here. And they got it kind of set up pretty nice where I can just copy and paste and we'll just go through this so it might take a while and the fact that it's got that uh, version code name seems uh, fine with uh, 22.04 here come down and I did use the latest should be fine actually now I'll try and remember when I get to the uh, open 5gs uh, install but you know it was kind of learning something you know as far as like docker dash compose versus docker space compose and it took me a second to realize what was going on there and I'll show you what I mean here when I jump over to uh, actually putting this docker image together I'm not quite sure why the directions are not updated but let's try this okay hello from docker alright we'll jump over to the docker open 5gs can see it runs the IMS ENB. GNB does a whole slew of things. I'm mainly just focused on the 4G part of it. You can really put this wherever you want, I guess, to keep it uh, kind of organized, for, at least for this video. I'll just stick it in the downloads folder. Pretty good directions here, other than I'll show you. I want to what I want to focus on is the right here this um, 
top line there and I'll use the B205 mini so uh, let's see I don't really want to build everything that's on here so let's do a we do need the base here and so I don't have it set up to where I can just run it without sudo so some of this may take a little while pay attention make sure there's no failures in it um, your internet connection doesn't go out or who knows what and, uh, and and then you run into an issue where it's not actually built I'll let this run if it gets real long I'll just cut out pieces so just know that's why there might be um, some you know missing parts in the video All right, so I'm back. Uh, I built that initial uh, Docker Open 5GS. Didn't really have any issues that I saw. And I honestly can't remember. Uh, I'm not going to really worry about building the SRS RAN part. I know that. That sounds strange, but the SRS LTE is really what I need for the 4G piece. Okay, I'm back again. So that finished building the Docker uh, I think Camellio. Uh, that is going to what routes our uh, SIP messages, SIP messages. And you'll see a little more of that uh, as we go through. And I'll probably break this video up into a couple chunks and it will build upon each other, hopefully. So let's go SRS LTE. I won't forget sudo this time. Now this is a key one here that needs to be built. Okay, back again that was the docker SRS LTE and yes for the record I did sit here and stare at the screen that entire build time so if you want to get an idea you can look up there at the building 893 seconds you can also look at the clock in the bottom right hand corner um, I'm just cutting out chunks so that you don't have to sit here and watch this um, let's see I think I'm gonna stop there I should be okay one other thing though that I'm going to change in here and I'll remember to mention this later too so you'll see how the MCC MNC and, and those are like like variables that are going to be passed in and you'll see where that is but I'm going to change this NPRB back to 25 and also because I know I'll forget this downlink Urson. I just want to look at what is uh, set up in Dragon OS natively here so I think and it may be that I need to come back to this later actually it is 50 so let's see
and I'll come back to this uh, in a later video uh, when I go to connect the pine phone we may have to make some other changes there too so let's see let's come back over here we'll do set a I'm gonna take a look at the ENV this is what we're going to be changing uh, the MCC and the MNC so if we look at uh, SRS ran say COTS UE should see yeah I'll take a quick look at a right up here and I want to change right here I'm going to change this MCC because this is going to allow my pine phone later with my Sysmocom sims to connect 70 should be it and then the other thing so the docker host IP I'm going to change this to I'm going, to change, I'm going to change this to the IP address of my Ethernet port and then I'll leave everything else uh, should be fine as is and we'll source that ENV I don't have UFW running now this is what I thought was interesting I'm going to change this slightly because oops, because the, in my opinion, this should be Docker comp uh, Compose. Because if you look up top, it tells you you should use the newer version. So hopefully uh, this will run and complete. And while that's running, I'll just point out. So if you notice up at the top, it talks about, where's that? So version 214 or above. But if you do... Actually, I don't, I don't even have Docker Docker uh, Compose on here, so that's good. But in, in previously, I had installed Docker Compose to Docker Dash Compose, and it had me confused because that was an older uh, version, like version one. Whereas I don't know, it was kind of confusing. But anyways, so Docker Space Compose. Okay, so I just finished the 4G uh, VoiceOver LTE deploy, that build there. I'm going to skip uh, the SA deploy for right now. We can go ahead and do the IPv forwarding and frequency or CPU power should already be set to performance. And so again, I'm going to modify this a little bit and go with the docker compose and we'll see if we get any errors in here Now looking through here, I did see some issues uh, that I want to take a look at as far as like uh, IP tables in the sort, um, but it looks like it's running. I do see every so often that uh, red in there that uh, talks about uh, some issue as far as uh, next time I catch it, I'll look at it, but it didn't prevent me uh, from connecting the phone. And so what we'll do is we'll open another window and we'll go into uh, downloads and we'll do make sure we uh, do our source.env again and we'll try
try this. I ran into an issue last time where it seemed like I had to be logged into the Docker Hub. But try this. Let's see. So I did sudo uh, on both the Docker Compose and then after on the docker uh, container part and this time I didn't uh, run into an issue I do see this like found orphan container deal I think I, I don't know maybe that's from when I open another window but at this point we should be oh and see there's the issues I see every once in a while uh, but this is running the uh, LTE uh, 4G network with the B205 Mini right now as you can see in the window here and then it's also running Open5GS and the other pieces so if we take a look down a little bit further I'm just skipping the 5G deployment um, I didn't change anything in the configuration that .env except for the docker host IP uh, everything I'm running is all on the WarDragon itself so let's go to uh, local host Let's try localhost 3000. Okay, so we get our login uh, where we can provision our SIM information. Admin 1423. And we've made it this far so I'm gonna stop and then I'll come back and we'll make additional modifications where we will put the SIM card information for the Pine phone make any last minute or make any other additional adjustments to the LTE part and then I will show that the phone can connect and then uh, we'll do anything else I can up until uh, probably the third and final video once I get another phone and verify both phones uh, can in fact call one another then I will focus on the SRS uh, or I'm sorry the LTE sniffer so alright hopefully this was helpful and just to point out again this is all being done on the the War Dragon and so it has um, you know ample enough like processing power uh, to compile and build all this and run so alright there you go